For more on the Blue Jays' playoff loss and what next season could hold, we reached Sportsnet 590, the fan radio host Mike Wilner in Kansas City, and he says heavy hitter Jose Bautista was key to the Jays' stellar season and memorable playoff run. He had another spectacular season and, and a great game yesterday, and, and if the Blue Jays had won that game, then the home run he hits in the eighth inning would have probably gone down in Blue Jays lore as one of the great all-time home runs that a Blue Jay ever hit. It's the first time in 12 years in the playoffs in the major leagues that someone hit a game-tying or go-ahead home run in the eighth inning or later. Um, it was one of those all-is-lost sort of moments where you figure the Blue Jays against this tough Kansas City bullpen uh, are in real trouble and probably aren't going to be able to come out ahead. But Batista, with his second home run, he's the first Jay to hit two home runs in a game in the playoffs. First Blue Jay to hit four home runs in a single postseason. Um, it was uh, that was pretty spectacular. And David Price, I mean, what do you think the chances are he'll return to Toronto next season? I don't think the chances are very good. Um, it has nothing to do with the city itself. I think David Price had a great time in Toronto and, and with the Blue Jays, and, and uh, really uh, the fans showed him something. Um, but he's going to cost a lot of money. David Price is going to go out there on the market. Somebody's going to give him seven years and $200 million, if not a little bit more than that. Uh, and those are, are contracts that tend not to work out. So you can't look back at too many of those seven or more year deals and say, yeah, that was great, uh, a great contract, worked out well for the team. Um, most of those team is regretting it two or three years in. And I just don't think the Blue Jays are, are in that neighborhood where they're going to be spending that kind of money to bring back a starting pitcher. That's Blue Jays radio host Mike Wilner speaking with us from Kansas City.